This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Thursday, May 30th. A federal judge in Maine has upheld Bar Harbor's partial cruise passenger limits, denying an injunction request. Now, this ordinance was approved back in November of 2022, and it caps daily cruise arrivals at 1,000 passengers starting this year. Despite legal challenges, the restriction remains in place. A public hearing on this ordinance is set for June 18th. And the continuous 1,300-day round-the-world cruise that was supposed to set sail today has, well, been pushed back again with a new sail date now. Citing issues with a water tank, the ship's new scheduled departure date is now June 4th from Belfast, the same location where it's currently in dry dock. This is the second delay for the round the world trip, which was originally supposed to set sail earlier this month. The new sail date has it going out in the middle of next week. And Viking Cruises has announced more cruise ships. They have exercised the option to build two more ships with Fincantieri Shipyard over in Italy, set for delivery in 2029. This move increases Viking's new build order book to eight ships, each with a capacity of 1,000 guests, with an option for two more vessels in the future. And cruise line stocks were down on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation down 2.75%, 15.22. Royal Caribbean down 1.5%, 147.96. Norwegian down a half percent, 16.49. And Viking down 1%, 29.71. If you have a lead on a story, drop us a line, tips at cruiseradio.net. This week's podcast, a review of Royal Caribbean's Mariner of the Seas at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Thursday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.